The processor digital capture creates noise in a digital photo. We all know that, particularly if you shoot at a high ISO in low light conditions. Now in Lightroom's develop module in the detail panel we have a very powerful noise reduction control. Now you can't evaluate or use the noise reduction controls unless you're looking at an image at 100% or above. And that's the one-to-one -one view in Lightroom. So up here in my navigator panel you can see I'm currently zoomed out onto the fit on screen. So there's no way I can ascertain if there's any noise in this image or not. To properly evaluate noise we need to be working at 100% or above. So what I can do is I can go and click on the one to one. So this is working at 100% which is going to be a lot better for us ascertaining the noise. And you can see the places that noise is going to hide is in the shadow areas and you can see some of it here. Now the detail panel is located over here and it's in two parts. Now the sharpening I've already looked at in a previous video. So this video we're just going to look at the noise reduction. A noise reduction is split into two. Uh, the luminance noise which is the grayscale dark and light dots that you see and the color noise which is like the colored blotches that you find in your image. Okay, let's have a look at colour noise first. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit further than you would normally. This is 100%. What I'm going to do is go to 2 to 1, to 200%, just to give you a little bit better look at what this noise looks like. So here we can see the shadow areas. Now there is already some colour noise reduction on by default of 25 points. So if I take that off, you can see all of a sudden all this horrible noise suddenly manifests itself and it's here in the shadows, it's there in the background and it's actually here in the cat's fur as well. You can see all these turquoisey, purpley, blotchiness. That's a technical term by the way, blotchiness. So what are we going to do about it? Well let's make a start basically by pulling up the colour noise reduction slider and you can see that it makes a dramatic difference all that colour disappears. Now the detail slider and the smoothness slider it's really just a case of playing around with those what they're doing is they're trying to bring back some of the edge detail because all this colour, all this noise reduction it's down to blurring in some form or another. So what these, the detail and the smoothness, you just play around and see sometimes it will make very little difference and on others it will be quite dramatic. On the colour noise it tends not to make a great deal of difference. But that colour slider does so you can go from lots of horrible noise up to no colour noise at all. Okay, now if we want what we can do in as part of the detail panel we've got like a little preview pane which is set for a hundred percent and we can click on that and we can then click in the image and have a look round different areas of the image so if I go back to fit on screen again you'll see that as I move around that little preview changes and I can go and I can say click on the eye and that is the area that I'm looking at and I know I'm always looking at it at a hundred percent in this preview but also I can go up to one to one or two to one and I can move around the image, click and drag to get to where I want to be. So I can look at two areas differently. Right, let's go back into the, the shadow areas. There we are. And we'll have a look now at the noise reduction, the luminance noise reduction. So now you'll see the, the sliders, these two, the detail and the contrast are greyed out because I've not yet moved the luminance slider. So if I do that now, you should see a dramatic reduction in the noise. And what it's doing, it's just blurring it out basically. And then the detail slider will try and bring some of that detail back from them edges as well the contrast. You'll see this better if I look where there's a bit more detail. So I'll look in the fur here. And if you see now, if I go from no noise reduction up to 40-50%, you can see the blurring's happening. But now with the detail slider, 
you can see the detail coming back and the contrast as well and what that's just doing is just trying to put a little bit of detail back into the edges that you've now blurred trying to get rid of the noise so that's how to use the noise reduction sliders in Lightroom to reduce the levels of luminance and colour noise in your photos.